As you can probably see, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do very well today. Uh, we've been mustering an ever greater number of ferries across the last few days. And uh, we're coming to a climax here on the Sunday of the show by having, I believe, five ferries about to go onto the water. As I joked earlier on, perhaps it's not a joke, it could be quite serious. This is a branch of the hobby that seems to be gaining momentum. A few years ago, I, I don't think I ever managed to get a single ferry onto the water. Well, here we are this year, 2018, and we've got five of them. And as we move into next year, I expect to see even more modern ferries, because our good friends over at Linkspan Models, one of our trade exhibitors here at the show this year, have been slowly but surely introducing a range of ferries to the market. I'll talk about one of them in a moment because it's brand new and it will be available for purchase in the spring of next year. So let's have a look at our ferries. Uh, quite a varied selection here. We have the, the Finjet. You may know a little bit about the Finjet ferry. It's rather unique and it's powered by gas turbine engines. And then we have the, the ferry from Cobble Frey Ferries, which is an interesting vessel because it has two decks that contains cars, and on the lower and the bottom deck, it contains the trailers for the articulated lorries to get those vehicles of all of their weight down into the lower level. This is built by John Wolverine, so it lives down near Abingdon in Oxfordshire. And boys and girls sitting around the edge of the pool, when John brings this ferry round, it's called the Celestine. If you look on the top deck, there are nearly 100 scale cars on the top of it. John not only has smoke effects on this model, but it also has a sequence of lighting effects. And as it goes around now, by the magic of radio control, one by one, John will start to activate some of the lights on the vessel. But do have a look at it when it comes around closely and you'll see all the cars on the upper deck, lights coming on and you'll notice the loading ramp on the rear of the vessel is now dropping down and particularly the youngsters around the edge of the pool as it rotates round. If you look in the back of it you can see all the lorries within the ferry. I'm a big fan here, John. There's a young man that's absolutely in raptures looking at the back of the ferry. And there's a demonstration of using the bow thrusters so that the ferry is able to gyrate round and can virtually turn round within its own length. Also on the water, we have two variations of the motor vessel, the Norland. One under the flag of North Sea Ferries and the other one under the flag of the P&O Shipping Line. They are nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, the same vessel, the motor vessel, the Norland. And that is one of the kits which is available from our good friends over there at Lynch Span Models. They also offer a kit for the Pride of Hive. And also, as I said a few moments ago, in the spring of next year, 2019, they will introduce to the market a ferry known as the Spirit of Free Enterprise, and the prototype of that kit is on display on their stand. It's right at the front of the stand, so I do suggest you go and have a look at Link Span models. I think these ferries are truly fantastic, and I hope you agree with me. Where's he gone? There he is. Our little lad here is pointing at it. He's ahead of the game. He's spotted. We also have a train ferry on the water in its military guise. Well, there's a young gentleman near the Coventry Point spotted straight away. Mum, look, there's trains on that boat. this show we particularly have a lot of very knowledgeable and very <laughs> informed modelers but for those of you that perhaps don't fit into those categories you will probably have noticed by now that some of these ferries not only have lighting effects they also have smoke effects as well and across the last few years as technology moves on we are putting more and more very clever 
functionality into the models. And I think when they're on the water with the lights on, it just absolutely brings them to life. It takes it to a new dimension, and with the smoke coming out of the funnels, it really elevates the hobby to a whole new position. I think John's ferry there as it goes around, particularly with all the cars on the deck, with the lights and the smoke, is a truly magnificent sight. One of the things we noticed yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, due to the lighting in the building with these big powerful down lights, when John turns the boat at certain angles, we thought he was pulling a clever trick yesterday because it looks like the lights have all come on in the cars and it is in fact the lights in the roof reflecting off them. From where I'm standing at this point, it's not doing it. But when he turns it down the other end of the pool, I noticed yesterday it suddenly looks like all the cars light up. I've told him by next year, I wanted to throw a switch and light up all 100 headlights. So there's your challenge, John. <laughs> He's going to be deeply worried now. There, it's just turned it now. Those people at my end of the pool would see, as he came round, that the cars all caught the light, it suddenly looked like they all lit up. For an unplanned effect, John, that is very impressive. Sideways. 